The study that I'm presenting at AACR uh, was a randomized phase two study of a neoantigen vaccine with an established drug called pembrolizumab, which is an FDA approved drug as an adjuvant therapy for high risk resected stage three melanoma versus the reference arm of pembrolizumab alone. And this was a fair size study, 157 patients. In cancer, there are two novelties uh, that are of note. One is the use of, a, of an RNA vaccine itself, which has been used very infrequently in any cancer vaccine approach in the past. And most importantly for this particular trial, it's a neoantigen messenger RNA vaccine. That is, it takes advantage of the unique mutated proteins within the tumor not present in the normal tissue to generate an immune response. And as we've seen with COVID, RNA vaccines can be very useful, are immunogenic, and generate very nice serologic antibody and of course, even T cell responses. You never wanna hear the word cancer when you go to see a doctor. I think like anyone else, I immediately started Googling, uh, you know, melanoma. My particular type was nodular melanoma. Of the melanomas, it's not, you know, not that there's a preferred type, but it's it's not a great type to uh, to get. So yeah, there was, you know, there was definitely some, you know, some fear, I would say. So the trial was 18 treatments over, over 12 months. Every three weeks I was coming in for a treatment. I'll be three years disease-free I think July of this year, you know, post-treatment. At 18 months, you had a 64% recurrence-free survival in the reference control arm of FDA-approved standard of care pembrolizumab. And in the experimental arm, 78% recurrence-free survival. That's a pretty significant difference, 14 percentage points. So the next steps going forward uh, with the neoantigen pembrolizumab approach is to initiate the definitive registrational phase three study. Get that going. I predict it accumulates like gangbusters and takes a year or even less to accumulate its 800 to 1,000 patients. And uh, 18 months after that, we'll, I hope, have an answer. So that means maybe two and a half years from starting, the answer will be in. My hope is the answer is the, yes, the combination clearly provides benefit in recurrence-free survival versus the reference arm of pembrolizumab alone.